Brunel noted that Stevenson had built his line to the gauge he had simply because it was the width of the track for the coal mines he'd been working on early in his career, and this had been set as a convenient width for workhorses and trucks. Brunel saw this as arbitrary and believed he could build tracks that were better tailored for steam power. To this end, he built his tracks to a width of 7 feet and a quarter inch, or 2.134 metres. He dubbed this broad gauge. His reasoning was that wider trains would have a lower centre of gravity. They could be fitted with bigger, more powerful engines, capable of carrying more fuel and able to take bends at greater speeds. Perhaps most importantly, they could pull wider carriages, giving more space for passengers and freight, and also allowing for a smoother ride. Had he had the broad gauge idea just a few years earlier, it may have kicked off a trend. As it was, so much standard gauge track could be built by this time that it seemed unnecessary to rethink it.